Hello vlog! Oh my goodness. I'm always shocked by how bad my lighting is in my bathroom, but it's just the way it is. So, hello! Hi guys! I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, by now it's a new year, so happy... Oh. <laughs> happy new year! Uh, I had another vlog filmed before this, but by now I'm just like kind of over that vlog. I think I'm just going to get rid of the, the footage that... Um, that I filmed because like after a vlog is so old then I'm just like over it and I don't care to go over it and edit it and everything it's like all these things happened so long ago like there's, there's no point no point at all anyway so uh happy new year to everybody hello this is the first time you're seeing me in the new year probably and I look horrible I apologize but you know what at some point in this vlog I'm gonna look a lot better I think well, let's hope. Anyway, um, I have this Mina eyebrow henna that I got over the holidays. I bought, it was not a gift, but Ernie did something funny for Christmas. There was one thing that I really, really wanted, which was a Dyson vacuum. And I was like, don't spend like too much money on it. I know they're expensive. And I bookmarked a bunch of other vacuums that were similar. I said, I want something similar to a Dyson. I don't want a Dyson because that cost an arm and a leg on our firstborn. I don't want it. But I will gladly accept something that looks like a Dyson and pretends to be a Dyson. So, in short, he got me a Dyson. But he also took all of my Amazon orders that I had been, ma that I had been making throughout December and just never gave them to me. And he started wrapping all the stuff that I bought myself, which I thought was hilarious because I started opening things. I was like, oh, it's exactly what I wanted because <laughs> I ordered it. And it was just really cute. But he did get me the Dyson and I asked for a pair of Vans. It was in Birch and True White. Anyway, like I was saying, I have this eyebrow henna from Mina. It has mixed reviews. Some of the reviews are really, really bad. Other, other of them, some of the other ones are good. Now, black henna can be bad. There are some people that have, that are allergic to a certain um, chemical that is used in black henna. And so probably check it out, like read up about it before, like try to use black henna. This is not black henna. This is um, medium brown eyebrow henna. It's a very, very dark shade here. Almost black, but you can still see a little hint of green in there which worries me but you know what we will do this and we will find out and if it sucks we will never use it again okay so my eyebrows are cleaned off um the reviews that i read the good ones said it was really really good the reason i wanted to try eyebrow henna like i said is because i don't wear makeup makeup every day Goodness, that looks terrifying. It's gonna look better when I wash this off, I, I hope. I don't think I finished saying what I was saying because I got so into this, but since my brows aren't like super dense and henna does stain your skin, that is why I want to try eyebrow henna. Um, and it's also like cheaper than microblading. So if I could just do this once every week or so, two weeks if I'm lucky then I would be extremely happy with that. Okay, okay, okay. I look nuts, I'm sorry. But I think it's gonna be all right. I think it's gonna look okay. So I have to let this sit for 15 minutes. Other people said they left it on for 20 and it still wasn't dark enough. And this is for people that were like lighter than me. Okay, we are back. And I am so nervous about wiping this off. 2000 years later. Honestly, I don't know right now if I like it or if I hate it. I have these leftover cotton rounds and I figured it would be better to cut them into small pieces and use them instead of just leaving them alone for as long as I have. Um, because ever since I got my reusable ones, 
Um, that's what I've been using. I don't really use my disposable ones anymore unless it's like I really need to. Um, and the only time I really need to is when all of my reusable ones are dirty. All right, have brows on again, just mostly on the ends and up on the arches because my arches like do not exist unless I do my eyebrows. So yeah, they're like from here all the way to the end because the front doesn't need anymore. That's if I do the if, if I do too much, it's just gonna look crazy. Oh, I got these. I got Ernie a pair of bands. I can't talk for shit at this point. Um, yeah, I have two hauls to film. One for Torrid. I know I said I wasn't going to shop at Torrid until my birthday. Okay, but I did. I failed. I'm a failure. I'm sorry. But I really wanted it. So I got the stuff from Torrid. I have some stuff from Hot Topic. Uh, I've been ordering from Redbubble like way more than I should. I like the artist um, Steve Rhodes. And I really like the stuff that he comes out with. And I can get um, his artwork on extra long t-shirts. Which I have been living in. And I just... And I know that when the hot weather or warm weather comes back then i'm just gonna be living in those because right now i'm living in oversized sweatshirts which is great oh i got my shane dawson sweatshirt finally look at it look at the back ah! 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 i am so excited to wear this um i got it in a 4xl because i wanted to be I wanted it to be huge and it is. It does not taper in at the bottom. Like it just stays really square. I'm hoping that once I wash it, it'll kind of kind of get a little bit more narrow. We'll see. But I'm really hoping for that because I just wanted it to be really big, but I don't like how it's like really big and it just like flares out. So maybe it'll relax a bit once it's washed. Why is there a pink square around my face? I've never seen my camera do this, so I'm very confused at the moment. I also finally got my Shane Dawson tumbler. I waited literally a whole month for this stuff. Oh, son of So that was the metal straw that comes with it. Uh, there's no, like, block. Because on my other, on my other, other tumblers, there's, like, you know, a little, a little bit of a ring on the bottom of one side just to make sure that it doesn't fly out of your tumbler like it just flew out of the box but okay so here's the tumbler how cute how cute uh the logo is on both sides so one on this side one on this side i i just pointed to the same side twice anyway it's really cute and it's very big like <laughs> I, I got a big face it's bigger than my face lengthwise so really really happy with that um and it is insulated of course little shane dawson card which i'm going to keep because it's beautiful shane dawson 24 ounce stainless steel matte black tumbler intended for cold beverages do not freeze or microwave avoid filling product with acidic or carbonated beverages pretty sure i saw shane dawson put root beer in this so he's not listening but then again you could probably get more of these. Low key, I want to keep it in the box, but I also want to use it and feel special when I use it. So definitely going to use it. Oh crap, I never put on a timer. Okay, well, according to this, it's been five minutes ever since I put on the henna onto my eyebrows. Um, this does burn a little bit. It shouldn't burn, at least I don't think it should. So um, yeah, maybe I'm allergic to PPD. I don't know. Anyway, I came in here to show you guys some shoes. So, I got Ernie a pair of skate highs for, ha I was gonna say Halloween. That is so wrong. I got it for him for Christmas. Um, I don't think he's ever worn Vans at all. He's more of a Nike guy, but I got him a pair of skate highs from Vans. And he said he really likes them. They're really cute. And I was really happy that they fit him because, hold on, I did not prepare for this. My box is still taped shut. I'm corny. So, I bought Ernie his pair of skate highs. I don't wear skate highs. I like the old schools from Vans. I don't like 
high tops in general anymore because my legs are extra chubby and they are short. I have an inseam of like 25 inches. Uh, so he is. I sent you a list. I sent you a list. You read the list. Right, he has the skate highs that match. How cute is that? I, I am. I am going to wear these. He does not know I have these yet. But the first day he puts these on, I put these on, he's gonna love it. He lives for cutesy stuff like that. Like, Ernie is more romantic than I am. And he can, he does cuter things than I do. Sometimes I, uh, my face is burning. Um, sometimes I feel very... And sometimes I feel like I don't do enough. Alright, the brows are like totally done now. And I like them. I'm a fan. I mean, they obviously do not look natural by any means, but I'm not mad at them. This one looks hella high though. Like I should have not done it that high. Um, I don't know what to do, but that's just the way it is. This one's good though. This one looks like kind of natural, right? Cause it's not like perfect. I don't know, but um, I have to go pick up Ernie from work. I gotta get going because I'm already half past a freckle it's so late hey vlog oh my goodness it's been such a dramatic day i can't really talk about it because it's not like exactly my business although like i was seeing all of it or listening or all of it or reading all of it i don't know but it was very rough nothing to do with ernie henry or me though like we're we're all good fine here so <laughs> Uh, you guys can't really see because I do have some makeup over it, but I think you can kind of tell that it's a little rough in my eyebrow and that's because the, whatchamacallit, the henna actually did burn my skin so I had some scabs inside my eyebrow which was very unpleasant and looked really really bad. Um, hopefully this doesn't cause my eyebrow hairs to like not grow back at all. We'll see. We will see. And some of it looked really rough. Um, on my brows, I'm wearing, and I've rubbed off quite a bit of it, but I'm wearing the Glossier Brow Flick and Boy Brow. Such a big fan of Boy Brow. I think it's really, really good. So, I have a little package here. That I'm super excited to share with you guys. So, Angel, if you're watching, thank you. She told me that Beautylish had something that I've been wanting for a while. So, <laughs> look at it, look at it. This tissue, man, this tissue looks amazing. It pains me to like cut this, but I have to, I have no choice. Unless, unless, all right. Okay, I just dumped it out of the box. Oh my goodness. Now I didn't have to rip it. This is a lot of paper. Beautylish is really good with uh, packaging. I mean, this is probably a little bit of, of a waste because it's just so much, but um, it's definitely very sturdy and very well protected. Oh, there's a little uh, uh, sample. An instant cleansing balm from Good Molecules. Okay, cool, very nice. Oh my god, oh my god, I've been, <laughs> I'm so excited. This is like surreal. It doesn't feel like it's like actually happening because I didn't think I was going to get one until like at least maybe June or July if I was lucky. But somehow Beautylish ended up with a few and I am so excited to slide this open. Eh. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Oh my god. What? What? Oh my god. Does Beautylish like sell everything real? Can they possibly sell anything that's fake? I hope the answer is no. But <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, there's even like a tiny little bit of pink inside it. Look, look at that. 
You see the little hint of pink? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god, seeing it on my, on my viewfinder is like so crazy. I don't know what to say. Okay, so the two colors I was most excited for is Cheeto Dust and Trisha. Like Trisha, I don't know if I'd wear very often, but like it just looks so beautiful. Right, should I swatch it or should I just wait? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. So cute. Okay. I'm just gonna like swatch the top corner. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just really a little bit of the top corner. Oh my god. Bottom corner. Okay. Slightly less impressive, but still, I'm here for it. I am shocked that I have this. So shocked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eee. I don't know. I don't understand how Beautylish got this. If any anybody understands how Beautylish got it, let me know because I am thoroughly impressed. All right, so I figured since I was showing you guys stuff anyway, I might as well show you the stickers that I bought from Redbubble. Don't mind my pile over there. It's just a bunch of pillows and some clothes that I haven't put away yet. Don't judge me. Okay, so these ones are for me. I have a little Ramune soda and Luna. Eee, look at it. Look at how cute. Right. And then one of these is for me, the other one is for Ernie, of course. I have Louise, her little hat, and her hair. And Ernie has the whole family right down there. Mine is Teddy. Teddy is family, I don't care what anybody says. Both of these are for Ernie. He has the Joker and Dr. Sleep. Both of which were really good movies. Oh, these are both also for Ernie. Got him a uh, Come Visit Hoth. Come Visit Beautiful Hoth. That's his favorite planet from Star Wars of all time. And um, the Mandalorian thingy. Insignia? Logo? I don't know what word to use for it, but you know what I mean. And we have, and we have one of the pilot helmets, which looks pretty cool. And I got the Mos Eisley Cantina Starbucks. And lastly for me, I have this guy right here. Little Hufflepuff Badger. So adorable. Uh, when I showed Ernie the Doctor Sleep thing, he said that he wanted the sticker for it. He said it may have seemed like weird, like most people wouldn't get it. I'm like, no, you don't know. All the VSCO girls. Visco? Is that what they're called? They're putting them on hydro flasks. Good morning, go. Whoa. You know, sometimes I don't realize how bad I look until I turn on the camera. So, um, my room is a mess. Hello. Giant pile of stuff got bigger. Clean laundry waiting to be folded. Stuff. Yeah, you see that? That is gross stuff growing on that bag. Because in this corner, a few days ago, Ernie and I found, well, I found, and then I told Ernie, but there was like black mold growing up that corner. And it was really, really bad. Scared the heck out of me. And then today, I found some in this corner. We have like serious moisture issues in this room. Uh, there's like no sun that touches this side of my house. None. Nothing. Nada. Zero. Zilch? Is that, that the other word? I don't know. But um, as you can see, see that part of the mattress? And that part? It's like it's just separating from the side and so when I went to Purple's website I just found out that they came out with um, a new version of their bed that has better edge support so I'm like is this why is this the reason why they made one like that have people been having this happen I don't know but if I knew that this was gonna happen I obviously wouldn't have even chose Purple um, if Ernie and I can't get them to like send us another one with the warranty um, I don't know. I don't know. I would rather like get a new bed because every time I lay on this, I feel like I'm going to fall off the edge and it scares me. So, not fun at all. 
I don't like it. <sighs> but now, Ernie just went out with his dad. Um, they are gonna go do their weekly shopping because it is Saturday. And I, before I crawl under the bed and clean out all of the dust that I found under there, um, What was I saying? I just completely blanked, oh my god. Um, oh yeah. Well, before I, is this gonna hold? Don't fall, don't you fall now. Okay, so before I crawl under the bed and clean up all the dust that I found underneath the bed, I'm going to make some coffee. I also have my Dyson charging. <laughs> This coffee is like pretty good on its own. It's already like a mocha mixed, but I just wanna make it a little extra better. So I have these two nitro creamers from Ready Whip. I saw Sarah Vargas get this months ago. Finally, we got it here in California. I haven't seen it until recently. So really glad that we finally have it. Oh goodness, that just went everywhere. Let's shake it up before I take the lid off. That's what normal people do. Delicious. The foam creamer is a lot sweeter than I expected. It's good, but it's like really sweet. I'm trying to eat healthier, but one thing I will not give up is my coffee. I'll give up everything else. Who remembers this? Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I just took that out. I didn't put it away right. Okay. So, I like went through everything because I just wanted to see it. The only things I didn't really go through were the Jelly Much eyeshadows. I only opened these two and then I never opened the rest of it. But um, I opened this lipstick, the Evil Queen one. And it was growing some kind of weird stuff on it. I don't know if it was always that way or if... I just saw it for the first time because I don't remember if I ever looked at it or not but I wiped a little bit of it off and it stained my fingers so I don't know what's going on with that but I wiped the outside with alcohol and cleaned it off and stuff but it was like gritty I don't know it, it was really weird I've never seen something like that before and now my fingers well this finger for sure a little bit on my thumb if you guys can see that then I have some on this hand that is stained pink. I've tried to wash it off with soap and water and I've also used micellar water and I used some alcohol and it's still not going away. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't completely understand why that happened but it's very frustrating. <laughs> so if I can get like another one of this I probably will just so I can have one and actually use it because even though I cleaned this off I don't know if I would like oh hello you guys are like really really close to my body all right yeah even though I cleaned it off I don't know if I would want to use it because of what it had on it so you can see how it's like really dull now because I went over the whole thing with a cotton pad and paper towel and stuff and with alcohol with a little alcohol wipe um so it doesn't look so good anymore and maybe where it, it says villains and just around the base you can see a little bit of orange that's what was growing around all over it and it was pretty gross looking so 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is safe to use at this point. Um, I was thinking maybe it could be the moisture under my bed, but none of the other lipsticks did that. All of the rest of them are fine, so I don't know. Well, there, there you can see the pink more. Ooh, ooh. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. It's weird. It only took me like six months, but I finally changed it. And it's so cute! Hey guys, it's the morning of... What day? January 6th, I think? Um, is today somebody's birthday? I don't know. Anyway, hey guys, Ernie and I are about to head out. And I just got finished getting dressed. I still have to brush my hair. I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I'm just going to brush it out and let it be. But here's my outfit. This dress is from Amazon. It's very cute. Comes up in the front a little more than I remember it, but it's okay. Not really a big deal. And I'm wearing my uh, my Fuji belt with it. You know, looks like Gucci, but is not because I'm not gonna pay that that much money for a belt. Also, I don't have that much money to spend on a belt. But really cute. I like the outfit. Very nice. Just wearing my Vans with it as per usual. And my makeup is extremely natural. Like, did you guys know I was wearing makeup? Probably not. <laughs> so maybe it's too natural. But I just never feel like putting on makeup. And this is the most I could muster up to do today. Because I just don't feel like it. So mm, that area don't look so good. Maybe I should have worn makeup. It don't matter. Anyway. Time to get going. Hello vlog! <sighs> uh, I totally forgot to film anything while I was out with Ernie yesterday. Um, I just, it slips my mind every time Ernie and I go out alone together because we don't get a chance to go out alone together very often. So, like, whenever we do, I want to be like in the moment. You know what I mean? So the camera, or my phone is just is unseen. I don't pay attention to it because I don't get enough time to spend with my husband. I miss him all the time. I know it's sappy, but it's true. So totally forgot to film yesterday. Hope you guys don't mind. <sighs> but this is where I'm going to end this vlog. I don't know what's going on, but I feel <sighs> nauseous like all the time. I'm not pregnant. Every time I mention that I feel nauseous, somebody asks me if I'm pregnant. I am not. I know for sure that I am not for reasons. I don't know why, but every single time that I eat something, I feel nauseous. Doesn't matter what I'm eating, I don't feel good like 10 minutes after. It could be the healthiest thing. I just had rice cakes, two rice cakes with some peanut butter spread on it and a banana like sliced up on top with a drizzle of honey. Tastes amazing and like it's not super bad for you. So I had that and it just, it tasted great and everything but like 20 minutes later I was very nauseous and queasy all over again so I don't know what's going on and I don't like it but that's what's happening. Um, also I'm wearing the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson palette on my eyes. I love it. This is Cheeto, no Cheese dust. I guess they couldn't say Cheeto dust, but cheese dust all over my eyes. I love it. I got, um, Josh, what's this color called? Whatever the purple shade is. I don't remember what it's called, but a purple shade here. I got a little bit of the green under my eyes. You can't really see it, but it is there. Um, and some... Is it ranch? I think they just called it ranch on the inner corners and on the brow bone. It's really cool. I love it. Ah, uh, of course I go for the orange eyeshadow, but that's everything. 
Uh, I'm gonna go wash this off now. And I'll see you guys next week. Or whenever my next video is. Bye!